Hey guys, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude, and I'm back with another Jurassic World figure unboxing. My other Sound Strike Camp Cretaceous figure came in. Um, it is the recolor of the Sinoceratops, and now I am officially complete my Camp Cretaceous lineup. That's not including Dino Escape, though. Um, this one's really neat. You can see the eye on there has a pupil. Um, the pupil's not colored, they just left it open, so it's the same color. As the green on its body it's a nice refreshing um, different style from this one where it's got a black eye and it's got more of that movie color going on so they they gave us a nice variation where there's like dendritic patterns on the back of this one and a more blotchy solid color on this one I'm kind of sad though the frill doesn't have any patterns on it um, the face does so it's kind of lacking in color the horns are a bit more brown in comparison to the original one, and the beaks a little bit more vibrant. Um, I'm actually filming this on a phone. I broke my camera, so it's a rip, but we're just going to have to deal for now. Um, so you can see there, this. I got this on Amazon, so it has some um, plastic on it. So we're going to pull this out and see. Hopefully it makes noise. Ow. Okay, so it works perfectly fine. Up, oh, cut myself on the box. Now I'm bleeding. Fantastic. But there, it's got the motion. The head goes up and down. I'm just, wow, I'm glad that, oh, wait a minute. There's color on that frill. Uh-oh, stinky. There's color on the frill, but not on this figure. <laughs> <laughs> why have why didn't I notice that before? Wait, maybe maybe all the ones don't have frill color. Okay guys, give me a second. I'm gonna have to look this up. A little concerning. Um kinda want one with frill color, I'm not gonna lie. So let's do uh, Camp Mattel Sinoceratops figure. I maybe maybe just maybe it doesn't doesn't come with frill color right all right guys maybe i'm just nope it does it comes with frill color oh okay that sucks a lot i d it ugh. i guess it's a variant i mean a sucky variant bruh Ugh. Now I now I'm debating whether or not I should get another one. Um, cause like, damn, it looks beautiful with that coloration. Look at this. That is fantastic. Now look at this. Wah, wah. That's so sad. Okay, well, that sucks. Um, I'm gonna carry on this review, I guess, and um, I'll I'll look into getting another one, I guess. Uh, maybe it's a rare thing, maybe it's special, or maybe it's just really boring without it. <laughs> Whatever the case is, let's carry on. Oh, it's, it's sad. <laughs> it's kind of sad, guys. Um, so the back of the box. You can see it has the head rotating feature, and it goes up and down, and it has beautiful coloration. <laughs> On its frill. <laughs> oh my god. I can't get over that. It looks so bad. Okay, so let's get it out of the box. No. Oh, I feel so awful. I don't know why. Oh, that's sad. Anyways, you can see that there's a Crow off a horse and Grim. And if you've seen my previous videos, I got the Cryolophosaurus perfectly fine. It's got its paint on it and everything. It's chill. But my man's over here. Oh yeah, and here's where I cut my uh, my thumb on the box. Well, this is a horrible, absolutely terrible day, guys. I'd appreciate it if y'all gave me a like right now just because I'm not vibing. Absolutely not vibing. So, there they are. Still can't get over that. I'm gonna try and ignore it. Um... You can see the beak compared to the originals, a lot more orangey, I guess. The eyes are different. 
everything else is the same about the mold. But you can see the back, it's got that kind of root-like pattern going on in comparison to the more blotchy one. Um, everything's basically the same with the original one, but it's got that nice detailing on the side of the body, or it's got the big scales, and it's got that rhinoceros-like skin flap right there. Um, got some more scales, some big ones at the base of the tail too. Uh, no coloration on the tail or the legs. It sucks. I just kind of wanted this <laughs> horn to have color. I don't know why they didn't color it. I colored this one though. Um, the eyes, the more I look at it, the less I like it. It's a little unsettling now that it has a pupil. I like the more peaceful, docile black eye actually. I'm more of a fan of that than whatever the heck's going on here, but eh, whatever. Um, so it looks good. It's very iconic. Everyone knows, oh, these two came out in the same wave. Um, now I gotta go look on Amazon for another one. It's, oh, and this was an expensive one. I, like, ordered this on, um, American Amazon, I think, so it cost me more, and then it cost me shipping on top of that, which absolutely sucked. Sucked big time. <laughs> I don't, I can't believe I didn't notice that before. Um, pretty weird. Another weird thing I'm noticing about it is, um, it's got, like, some sort of red right here. Like a red stain. I don't know what that is. See it? Yeah, you can see it a bit more better in the light. Very weird. Um, I don't know. It's just, like, one of those Mattel misprints. I don't know how many people are watching this right now, but if you, uh, saw this guy without color in stores, let me know. I just, I'm confused as to why it doesn't have that. <laughs> I guess if I really want to, I can paint it on myself, but, like, whenever I get figures, I like to leave them original anyways. I don't like painting toes or fingers or extra detail. Kind of, like, takes away from the original vibe of it. But you know what this reminds me of? Um, the JP3 female raptor set had like missing head stripes and head stripes. So that was pretty interesting. Maybe this is like the same case. Oh, well, there there we go. That I guess that's it. Um, the sounds are the same too. I guess we should go over that before we go. Oh, please. Oh, there we go. Yep, there we have it. There is the Camp Cretaceous... Oh, no. See, I keep forgetting stuff. It's been a while since I've done videos. Let's get the scan code. I'll just do a scan code video after this, because why not? Come on. See, the obligor... Obligatory? I'm obligated to do the scan code, guys. It's just a part of my life now. Okay, I'll do a scan code video later with all these guys, so stay tuned for that. Oh, hope you guys all enjoyed, um, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.